intensity of gravitational field intensity of gravitational field in diagram this is a given body and we consider another uh, body given body of mass capital m is uh, situated at the point o and at the point a we have a test body of unit mass this body has the mass m prime which is equal 1 distance of uh, the test body from the given body is small r r is the distance of the test body of mass m prime or test body of unit mass now the test body of unit mass uh, m prime equal 1 this test body of unit mass experiences gravitational pull ft due to the given body of mass capital m and in this case gravitational pull or gravitational force of attraction if g is equal to i the intensity of gravitational field the intensity of gravitational field at a distance r the intensity of gravitational field at a distance r that is at the point a due to a given body due to the body of mass capital m at o is capital i is given by capital i is equal i is the gravitational field i equal gravitational force of attraction gravitational force of attraction experienced by experienced by a unit mass or experienced by a test body of a unit mass that means m prime equal 1 placed at that point a at a distance at a distance r from the point a at a distance r from the body of mass capital m from the body of mass capital m therefore i equal g capital m m prime divided by r square putting the value of m prime so g capital m into 1 divided by r square therefore i equal g capital m divided by r square i equal gm by r square therefore i equal gm by r square which is the gravitational which is the gravitational field intensity gravitational field intensity at the point a at a distance r at a distance r from the body of mass capital m from the body of mass capital m at o so at o we have a body of mass capital m and we consider a test body of mass m prime equal 1 at the point a and this test body of unit mass this body of unit mass experiences gravitational pull which is denoted by i now uh, we can express gravitational field density in vector form so we denote distance vector vector r vector r is the distance of the point a from o that means the distance of the body of unit mass from the body of mass capital m and r cap is the unit vector of distance vector i equal mod vector i and in this case vector i gravitational field intensity vector acts towards the body of mass capital m that's why we should consider minus r cap because vector i is opposite to r cap so therefore vector i equal minus gm by r square r cap 
वेक्टर आई इक्वल माइनस जी एम बाई आर स्क्वायर आर कैप नेगेटिव साइन इंडिकेट दैट ग्रेविटेशनल फील इंटेंसिटी वेक्टर वेक्टर आई एक्स इन द अपोजिट डिरेक्शन ऑफ डिस्टेंस वेक्टर दिस इज अ ग्रेविटेशनल फील इंटेंसिटी वेक्टर ग्रेविटेशनल फील इंटेंसिटी वेक्टर विच एक्ट टू द बॉडी ऑफ मास कैपिटल एम which creates the gravitational field which creates the gravitational field within which the unit mass within which the unit mass experiences gravitational force of attraction or gravitational pull due to the body of mass capital m therefore vector i equal minus gm by r cube r r cap therefore vector i equal minus gm by r cube vector r this is the expression of gravitational intensity vector in terms of distance vector or in terms of vector r now we know the expression of gravitational field intensity i equal gm by r square and mod and uh, dimension of i is equal to dimension of capital g dimension of m divided by dimension of r square now dimension of capital g or gravitational constant is m inverse l cube t to the power minus 2 into m divided by l square so finally we get dimension of i as equal l t to the power minus 2 dimension of i equal l t to the power minus 2 that is the dimension of i or dimension of gravitational field intensity again dimension of small g or dimension of acceleration due to gravity is l t to the power minus 2 and so you can see that dimension of i is same as dimension of g hence the gravitational field intensity gravitational field intensity and the acceleration due to gravity the acceleration due to gravity have the same dimensions have the same dimensions have the same dimensions i equal um, dimension i is equal dimension of g another uh, additional information is what i equal gm by r square so this is a given body of mass capital m we consider it test body of unit mass capital m is the mass of the given body i is the intensity of gravitational field and r is the distance of unit mass now we consider uh, a test body having mass m prime equal m prime which experiences gravitational force fg at the distance r from the given body of mass capital m now fg equal gmm prime divided by r square now if we find fg by i we get m prime that is the mass of test body therefore fg prime fg equal m prime dot i fg is gravitational force and m prime is mass of test body this is the given body of mass capital m and this is the test body of mass m prime hence we can say that gravitational force of attraction gravitational force of attraction is the product of mass of test body and gravitational field intensity mass of test body into gravitational field intensity